Hi guys. So today I would like to discuss with you about uh, Android uh, and what are for me the best resources, the best books uh, that are available uh, if you want to deal with Android. So um, first of all, the, the main thing we need to discuss is the fact that Android is a platform. So there is multiple stuff in terms of security that could be around this platform. Um, so um, I will try my best to give you like the more global resources to, to help you the best. Uh, but of course, depending uh, which part of the uh, Android platform you're going to target, uh, you will get some more specific books or resources that will uh, fit the best. Um, so typically my experiences with uh, Android was basically um, some years ago, I was doing some fuzzing of the Android kernel. So really similar to the Linux kernel. Uh, that's why I already discussed about like uh, how to fuzz the Linux kernel and what are the best resources to learn more about the Linux kernel. That's because that's what I was doing uh, previously for the French um, diode. And uh, today uh, I will discuss about also the books that I've used uh, to learn more about Android and uh, how it works, what are like the um, custom and specific stuff uh, only related to Android. So let's start. The first book is the Android Hacker on, uh, on Books. You will see that most of the books are a bit old, uh, so that's an issue, uh, but uh, there is still some some more generic stuff and even the concept and the techniques could be applied. So this book is really for me the, the go-to uh, if you want to start learning about Android um, security and how to play with Android and learn more uh, about, uh, about it, basically. So that's the one I have right there. And basically inside uh, the, the different uh, stuff I, I really like, first of all, you will see that there is a, a bunch of chapter regarding like how to uh, get root uh, and so on. So uh, those, those chapters are basically a bit uh, deprecated, of course. Uh, but you still have some uh, interesting chapter about like the Android attack surface. Uh, it's still something valid. You have a complete chapter regarding like finding vulnerability using fuzzing uh, on Android. So that's really nice. Even if again, um, the techniques are a bit old and we have some, some more um, efficient tools um, right now available, but it's still nice to see uh, what was used before and what was uh, actually giving some pretty good results by the time. And then you also have some stuff regarding debugging um, and uh, exploitation and so on. So all the stuff gonna be uh, again a bit old, but still uh, interesting to, to learn. And uh, I think finally you also have some uh, one chapter regarding like the, the Android kernel and how to attack that. So uh, still valid and some exploit mitigation, hardware attack and so on. Um, that's why I'm, I'm telling you that it's definitely the go-to and one of the best books uh, available uh, if you want to start with Android security uh, because it will discuss really a, a bunch of stuff uh, and give you like a global idea of uh, what can be done uh, on uh, Android. The second book I want to mention is the Android Security Internals, this one. Um, this one is really if you want to uh, learn really in deep the internal and the security concept uh, that have been uh, put in place in uh, Android. Um, typically the concept of permission, the package management, um, all the cryptographic stuff uh, that have uh, been uh, in place, all the networking, the credential and so on uh, are used. Um, especially also if you are doing uh, some enterprise uh, Android security, that could be interesting because there is a complete chapter regarding enterprise security and uh, device security, or you can uh, basically enforce uh, your, your device, really interesting. And uh, one chapter I really appreciate was basically the one regarding SE Linux. Um, so it's really well explained and really uh, interesting, especially for uh, Android. So. Um, Definitely a go-to, really, really technical and uh, in deep. You will not get a lot of exercise or stuff like that. Um, and it will be really focused on Android and the, 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 the way it works internally. The next one will be embed Android. Um, so um, I will not suggest you to, to 
except if you are doing that like a, a full-time job, uh, like playing with Android. Um, this one uh, was really a good start, I will say, uh, if you are totally new to Android, uh, because it will give you um, a global idea of how Android work and uh, not just for uh, your phone, but also for other stuff. Uh, that's why it, it's embedded Android. Um, that's nice. Uh, it will, um, for example, it will uh, tell you, okay, what is ADB, how to use that, um, some some primer on different stuff and the hardware, or Android will communicate with the hardware and so on. Uh, it will be really quick on that. Uh, so this one, it will be really quick on that, uh, but um, that's that could be interesting. Um, Maybe also, especially if you are um, playing with, of course, embedded Android with like, um, I don't know, like automotive and stuff like that. They are, they are maybe using some Android stuff like that. The last book I want to mention uh, is, uh, so this one clearly I will not, if you are only in Android, I will not advise you to, uh, to buy it. Uh, you can see that it's pretty huge. Okay, it's the mobile application hacker on book. It's only also if you are dealing with Android application, not uh, on the system and the kernel level. It's only focused on the application. And um, I will not suggest you to buy this book um, because um, there is, um, as you can see, it's uh, from 2015. And basically, there is a multiple chapter. Uh, I don't know how many, but there is a huge part of it that is completely deprecated. Uh, basically, uh, you have from chapter 10 to, uh, I don't know, 17, all of the, uh, those chapters are basically about Windows Phone and BlackBerry. So um, that's why I'm, I'm telling you that, as you can see, that's the number of chapters. And yeah, you basically have half of, half of it that is completely deprecated, so doesn't make sense. And there is only like uh, four chapters regarding uh, Android application. So two chapters are huge. Uh, basically, I think it's regard something like uh, yeah, three three hundred line. Uh, 300, sorry, three hundred page of uh, of uh, inside the book. Um, but again. I'm not really sure it's worth it, uh, to be honest, um, except if you are, again, doing like Android as a day-to-day, -day, uh, like pen testing Android application as a day-to-day -day job, you can maybe find some useful tips uh, inside that can uh, help you. And uh, the, the first part of this book is, uh, is regarding like um, iOS application, so I will not mention uh, more, more in deep uh, about that. But again, I mean, that's... We are in 2022 uh, right now, so that means it's something that is basically seven years old, uh, especially regarding application, mobile application, um, that, uh, that's a bit old. Uh, but I mean, I have it, I bought it a long time ago, and I, I, I read it a long time ago again, so that's why uh, I'm, I'm having it. Definitely, if you want to learn more about Android application, I will suggest you to uh, actually start by doing reversing of Android application. And for that, the best resources for me right now uh, is that, that's completely free is the Android App Reverse Engineering 101. Uh, it's a, an online course created by Maddie Stone. Um, so uh, actually Maddie have done like an amazing job uh, with the With the, with the courses, uh, you will um, get a, a good idea of the, the basic steps to start with um, Android um, reversing, uh, reverse engineering, application reverse engineering. Um, and um, I think um, Maddie actually uh, have done like two parts uh, in life. It's like seven hours of content uh, directly on, uh, on her YouTube channel, uh, part one and part two, this one. So yeah, five hours of uh, live. So definitely you should take a look at that. That's definitely something I will invite you to, um, to explore uh, if you want to learn more about like uh, Android application. And finally, um, the last uh, resources that is for me really interesting, especially if you're into fuzzing and vulnerability research, it's to take a look at the official Android documentation. That's something that was Uh, not as shiny and as easy to uh, to get access 
uh, a long time ago. Right now, they have done uh, some some really good work, and as you can see, you can uh, directly by taking a look at the documentation, you have some uh, a security part, especially uh, like a dedicated uh, part. Uh, you can uh, get some um, information regarding like the kernel security, uh, how it works. You have um, also uh, the app security. Um, something I really like is the testing part, where you have basically all the address sanitizer um, information, or you can build your kernel with uh, KSAN and KCOV, and uh, even use like Syscaller, that is a, a, um, a Linux and Android compatible uh, further, um, like kernel further. Uh, developed by uh, Google. So um, that's really nice, really interesting, and you will get uh, really a lot of information. So if you want to do fuzzing on uh, Android, you should take a look at that, and uh, that will uh, it will give you already a, a good uh, amount of information. You even have some stuff regarding like fuzzing with libfuzzer with like all the command line and so on. So um, yeah, really invite you to uh, take a look at that. If um, you are focused on the Android uh, kernel, um, I will invite you to take a look at my previous video regarding uh, the, um, the Linux kernel internals and the best book for that. Uh, that basically what I've used um, some, some times ago. Uh, and uh, for me, that's definitely one of the best way to understand uh, Android and the Android kernel, of course, since it's, uh, it's basically the same. Um, and uh, if you are able to um, read those books and understand how it works, um, in Android it's basically the same with some extra stuff. So uh, that should be uh, that should be a, a good start uh, if you if you want. So I hope you appreciate. Um, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and let me know what you would like to see on the next video. Thank you.